I'm Jessica Lee Golden and I play Val in the chorus line. I grew up in New Jersey. I'm still, I still live there with my parents. I started dancing when I was three. Well, my mother says I started dancing when, you know, out, right out of the womb. She was a dancer, so she, she taught me, you know, first position when I could walk or could stand. My sister and I, when we were old enough, thank you, when we were old enough, um, she, you know, we went to dance class. That's what we did. It was like going to school. I started gymnastics when I was eight, seven, eight, and it was, it was heavy. You know, I went to state championships and I was really into gymnastics. I was one of those gymnasts where when I was on, I was really on, and I would like win gold medals, and when I was off, I would like crack teeth out of my face and <laughs> be a hot mess. So I just thought it, but I needed to take care of my body, so I stopped. So then I found musical theater. I found this, this wonderful studio in Morristown, New Jersey, um, Worth Trill Studios, that has musical theater and all this stuff. So I started when I was 10 doing a chorus line. You can do so many roles. So every spring I would do something different. I mean, I played everything. I played the girl version of Mike, you know? I was Deanna, <laughs> because I look Puerto Rican, right? <laughs> you know, but I learned the entire show. I guess I was about 12. I was cast um, at Paper Mill Playhouse in Gypsy with Betty Buckley and Debbie Gibson. And um, that was so cool. I just thought that was the greatest thing. And my dream was always to go to performing arts high school in New York. I loved the high school performing arts. I loved it. It was so, it was like fame. Like we would, it was really like we were in the cafeteria and we would start dancing on tables. Like it was like that. I just thought it was so cool. Um, and. I learned a lot there. I was there junior year, and um, I was getting jobs, and I was having trouble working them because I was missing school. I was missing so much school that I was gonna have to repeat a year. So that wasn't looking good, and then I went on the um, open call for the Fosse International Tour, um, which was non-equity, and I got it. So I kind of had to make the decision, do, do I stay, and I was already having trouble working, you know, and I was going to have to repeat a year, or do I go on the road, and I had to go. Well, it was international, so we did, you know, the U.S., and, um, and then we went to England, and we got to go to Greece, Athens, which was really cool, because we were, it was an outdoor theater, and it was on a, like a little hill mountain right across from the Acropolis. Like, it was ridiculous, ridiculous. I was really breezy and I was doing steam heat and we'd be doing the hat tricks and like breezes would come, we'd be like, oh, catching hats and but it was amazing, amazing. It was very cool to get to travel, you know? Because how many people at 17 get to go and see what I saw, you know? I did a Christmas Carol at North Shore after that, which was wonderful. Um, and then I did Pippin, and then I got this. We all auditioned at the Broadhurst, or the, you know, the second to last callback, and then the day after that, they were looking for covers. And that was when I was called back in. I, I remember being really happy because they were laughing. It's so hard to make them laugh. Because they might be, they might be you know, when you see them sitting at the table and they're all just looking, and they, they might be like, oh, she's funny. You know, you know what I mean? And you're going, they're not laughing, they don't like me. But, but they're, they might be saying, yeah, we gotta cut our hair. You, know, you don't know. But they were laughing at what I was saying. And I was like, oh, this is good, this is good. And then I went home that day. I got off the bus in Jersey. Um, you know, got out of my dirty dance clothes and all that stuff, put on my robe. Still in, in my makeup, and I got a call from my agent. And they're like, you got Val. And I remember just this moment of being completely stunned and then bawling, 
bawling black mascara down my face in my bathroom in Jersey with people driving by going, oh my God, she's nuts. And just, and then just calling my mother immediately, of course, running in the house telling my dad. It was so surreal. Chips and death, bought myself a fancy pair, tightened up the derriere, did the nose with it, all that goes with it, tips and death. Had the bingo bongos done, suddenly I'm getting national tours. Tits and ass won't get you jobs unless they're yours. After the excitement happened, I went, oh my god, I'm Val. Oh my god, everyone loves Val. And she, you know, she takes Mark under her wing, that motherly thing. Um, I, and I really think she's just been shit on a lot, you know? She has always worked really hard, which I can relate to. She's, she's really worked hard to where she is now. And she's a great dancer, but she wasn't the prettiest, and so she wasn't getting jobs. Now, I know what that feels like to, to go to an audition, and you know you've done a really great job, and that you're one of the best dancers in the room, and then you see five other people who didn't do it half as good get the job. I know what that feels like. I've never had a part like this in a, in a show like this. And um, for this to be my Broadway debut, I never imagined in a million years. This is, I mean, this is the way I wanted to do it, you know, in my dreams, you know, when I was like wishing on stars when I was 12. I'm gonna play Val in my first part, you know? And now it's happening. It's all very surreal to me.